Kilchoge. 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 So on today's episode, we want to talk about like where we came from, how we started. Because I feel like many of our subscribers didn't know us from before. Mm -hmm. So like you're just meeting us now, and you don't know how like the di like the dynamics of how like we started this group and why we started. Um, I've always been on the on the plus size, and ever since I was a child, I was considerably bigger than all my friends. And um, I can say that I have experienced fat shaming since I was a child. Like actually fat shaming starts from the playground with people calling you can or no. You know you can be prosecuted for that! And refusing to pick you on Nakumka Vile Mlikam Nalini. Eh, your stuff ya kudiki. Fist kudiki. Yeah. Panda police and robbers. Eh, you can keep your fat, you can't be police. You can't run. You know, and they never used to pick you. Manze, everyone, everyone refuses to pick you on their side banner. And then, um, you just end up there sitting alone. Ama unakuja, 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 unakuja kwa playground, alafu unaliza kila msa, hey, game ni anani, game ni anani, kila msa nakwambia game ni oyu. Game ni oyu. Game ni anani, game ni oyu. Wadi unanatu, ah, say, ah, kutaki kwa game ya oyu. And like, calling you can or no, and calling you names, and like, and also growing up, everyone being so interested in your weight, like, oh, Hey, oh, mm -hmm. and even now, even now, uh, maybe I'm not as big as I used to be. Um, I'm, I'm growing a bit smaller. And even when you grow smaller, everyone is so interested in your weight. Everyone is like, Wow, yeah. kayaki, hey, you're losing yeah. weight. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, what are you telling like, me? I, I, you always have something to say. Ninini na kuwasia. Ninini na kuwasia. Anyway, so in 2016, um, it was after this is S's wedding, I remember. Mm -hmm. And there's this picture they take and they post, they they uh, posed on some stairs. Yeah. Uh, and they're all wearing white. white. They are looking so yeah. glam. Oh my God, this is S. Patricia Kihoro. That's so cute. Joy uh, Candy. Joy Candy. Um, Miss Mandy. They were looking so good. And yeah. I was like, how come by the I've never seen um, Kenyan uh, ladies who are they are this glam and still big still big like i can look at them and be like hey. good gracious god i've seen beauty before but this is a discovery yeah, i like their style and their clothes actually fit me and stuff like that yeah and then i had the i had a girl crush on natasha for the longest time guys oh, the oh, longest same <laughs> The longest time. Well, even me when I saw Tasha uh, the, for the first time, I was like, Stop! Oh my God, what? I'm she is! I'm so <laughs> but Tasha <laughs> is really pretty. Yes, yeah, she is yeah. really good. Uh. Oh, Tony, what? what? Yeah. And then in, in high school, there's this friend of us, her name is Viona, and Viona and Natasha were best, best friends. Friend. Uh -huh. So Natasha, I mean, Viona kept on telling us, you guys, my best friend, Natasha, man. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke to you guys on the phone one time. Was it you? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't oh, even know who I was talking to. That was to. so funny. And and I had her on phone, and she saw her voice is so, I was just, like, you guys, I was obsessed with Natasha. Because oh. <laughs> oh. Viona used to always tell me, you remind me of my friend called Steph. So. Oh. Yeah, I was also so curious who Steph was. Yeah. yeah. Um, I guess. So, like, even after I finished high school, I was really eager to know who this Natasha is. And then yeah. I first started following her on Instagram, mm -hmm. and she's paying as fuck. Yeah. She sounds so good. So, now, this time, I was, I was feeling really... This was 2016. This was my heaviest. I I don't know if yeah. I should say what I weighed. You can if you, you, want, can if you, want, you want, want to. You can if you want to. Anyway, let me just no. I won't say it. Oh, okay. no problem. <laughs> but I was really heavy. Mm -hmm. I was like that was my heaviest, and I was feeling so bad. I I even joined the gym. I'd go to the gym. Mm -hmm. I'd cry. I'd like, it was a really bad time for me. But I kept on seeing Natasha, and I'm like, this girl is also just as big as I am, and she's so fly and everything. So one day, I hit her up. <sighs> You are looking sumptuous. I was like, hey, me, I'm just gonna tell you, man, you look so good and like you, you, you really helped me uh, feel good about myself, you know. 
together with a bunch of other plus size models, mm -hmm. Akina Tabria majors, mm -hmm. like shout out to all those people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone can say their favorite. So yeah, I hit Natasha up, then we went for coffee, then we just started talking and chilling, then the idea just came up. Yeah. Now actually we met at the hostel. Oh yeah, yeah. she was coming to see Viona yeah. and So she Sandra. was coming to see Sandra and Viona. Sandra is also part of us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so she was coming to see Viona, I mean them, the both of them, and I, I, we lived together. So when I was walking in, I find these guys talking. So we have a whole girl crush moment, we talk, we, oh my god, oh my god, it's Love you, oh my god, I finally get to see you. It was so much fun, like, yeah, it was so, so yeah. that's how we ended up talking, we started sharing a lot about what we're doing, what we feel, yeah. so, and personally now I was on the, I was starting my, I wanted to start a, I wanted to start a blog with my friend called Nini, mm. and I was to be the plus size face of the blog and yeah. Winnie would speak for the skinny girl mm -hmm. in the blog. Yeah. So we had just done our first photo shoot. We were really excited about it. Nini, nini. So in my mind, I'd already always been thinking, I'd, I'd gotten to the point where I definitely want to speak on being plus size because like Steph said, it starts from so long and then by the time you become aware of it, it's really messed with your confidence. So I felt like it's good to have that voice out there for, um, yeah, to, to like motivate other people to feel nice about themselves. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. So then we talked about it. Steph was like, yeah, even me, I'd love to do the same thing. And I was like, yeah, even me, I want to do the same thing. So we decided let's have coffee and just see where it goes from there. So we had our first date. We had sandwiches or some, some, some stuff like that. I don't remember. We had sandwiches. We talked about it. We listed down everyone we thought would be amazing to, yeah. to like speak about the, their journeys. Yeah. And so... Steph came up with a bunch of names, I came up with a bunch of names, and then, um, yeah, so then we just hit everyone up, <clears throat> and we met at Big Square, yeah, so that was the yeah, first Yeah, that was the first thing. Yeah, so we all was met. Was it Big Square at Cafe? It was Big, Big Square. Square. At oh. Cafe, was, I think, was a meeting. It was the second oh. time. Yeah, but, but Big Square was the first time we were all meeting each other for the first time, apart from Washuka. Yeah, and I mean, Washuka, yeah, we, yeah, I'm just over here, like, yeah. So basically what we're saying is we started off as a plus size campaign on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. And we, are, we went with the name Uchi Kenya. Yeah. yeah. If, if you if you if guys you remember. If you're an OG, yeah. 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 So Uchi because Uchi in Swahili means naked and we wanted to tackle the problem from your naked body. Yeah. yeah. Like for you to be able to love and be in touch with your naked unique itself yeah so first of all me i i didn't know let me tell you i didn't know any of the girls i didn't know any of them so one of our like my friend that i actually met on instagram is the one who introduced me to steph and then she, he was like um I have this friend, like she's starting like a plus size thing. I feel like you're really wait before before she he told you that I'd already told you. Oh, you had told yeah, me. I was like, eh, hey, I like this girl because uh, you know your your bio reads yeah, well, self proclaimed yeah, body activist. Uh, yeah, and she knew yeah, about Twitter. you on that day. Yeah. Yeah. On Twitter, I don't know if you guys. Know yeah, I feel what like what that has always been like my brand. Yeah, she likes to talk about like a lot of plus size. Yeah, like that has always been yeah stuff i feel like that's i like so when, like when he approached me yeah. i was like when he asked me because he was like let me let me tell you about it before she like she talks to you about it mm -hmm. so that you know exactly like what happened and i was like gosh like this has been my dream yes i didn't even think about it i was yeah. like yes i want to be part of it like that has always been something that i've always wanted to be part of you know yeah. and i just like i didn't have like i never saw like any platform like that in kenya so i was like perfect yeah i want to be part of it yeah. and that's how like i came on board and that's when we went for the shooting release i was so nervous let me tell you guys because they didn't, didn't know even look it. i yeah. didn't know anyone hey, but then like, oh, always 
killing me. Let me tell you, I was, I was, I was really I anxious and it. I was really nervous. But then, yeah. So that's how we like we we all started, and mm. it's been like a beautiful journey. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I think um, Steph came over to my place. Then we were talking about it. We we're talking about it, and she's like, "Yeah, I'd love to have like a group of women who, um, like, we're just." I think you gave the example of Kenna, this is S. Mm. Like a glam squad. Yeah, I was just a glam squad. Yeah. A glam then squad that she, everyone can relate to. Yes, so, and then yeah. now she mentioned uh, plus size and I was like, oh yeah, that's perfect. I think I can just, um, maybe just help with you know, logistics, and yeah. Yeah. logistics and everything. Because initially I was like, ah, if Cause it's a plus yeah, size campaign, it's a plus yeah. size campaign yeah. me I can just, because you're my friend, me and Cliff, um, Steph are really close. I yeah. was like, because we are friends, I can just come in in terms of just helping out yeah. and just being like a uh, moral support. Yeah. Yeah. Then now, eventually, we were like, oh, okay, even you know, skinny, smaller girls can be represented. And then, yeah, that's yeah. how we all came about. That's yeah. the thing. Like we also like we don't mind. We actually advocate for the skinny size and the plus size side. Mm. But then like But how we started how we started is not mostly on the skinny side. Yep. Yes, we also understand that there are some things going on on the skinny side. That one we understand very clearly. But then like the problem in the society mostly has been about the bigger person. Mm. Like if you're plus size and everything like that, it's always been like that. Yeah. If you're skinny, like it's never been like that much of a problem. Yeah. Yes, the comments thrown around, yeah. but then like it's not as systematic. Key, systematic it, even then like what like there are so many things that affect the plus size person that are not that the effect is the effect is in, in that, that yeah thousand. that's a thing and i think that's what people don't understand mm. yes we understand the side you're coming from and we understand everything that you're going through but then it's not really equal actually i'm going to say this it's not really equal and yeah yeah and let me say like let me you guys you took my tweet out of context completely if you saw my tweet let me just address it um, <laughs> I was not invalidating skinny yeah. people's yeah. problems. Like I was not at all. I wasn't. Yeah. The thing is, like I was just trying to say, as Val has said, fat people go through like the the like the body shaming, like for fat like fat shaming for, for fat people, it's like it's not the same as yeah. like for skinny people. Cause let me tell you, like you you like since you grew up you like seeing a skinny person wasn't like abnormal yeah you get like ev like slim girls like slim slim men like slim people were just like everywhere you get what i'm saying yeah. you were used to seeing them but like once you see like a fat person it's like whoa like yeah, you yeah. get what i'm saying yeah. like can I know? exactly even you know even, no, even, no, even, no. No, no. you guys even parents like sometimes make yeah. parents yeah. Like, exactly. it starts yeah, from like, your whole yeah, your whole family, family. You've you know, your, your childhood yeah. and you know what like most of you people don't understand like what we get in like from other people what they tell us most big most like plus size people have told us yeah, about their experiences the DM. in the dms and you in people person. really know that in like person. it's a oh. lot of things going on from their parents from them wanting to commit suicide because they are bigger and all that yeah. yes you might be small but the things bigger people are facing yeah. is much more yeah. and we I understand you know, all that but then like you need to understand that it's not actually equal and at the, at, again it's not a competition yeah. you know, yeah. I mean, you know okay. the thing yeah. is you know, like we're making it look like a like me you know you don't know what i'm going through and yeah. maybe even maybe i'm guessing even maybe you might sit there and you're like hey even these guys maybe they look like they're all it's also a struggle competition yeah. but just trying to address that whole conversation that went on because at the end of the day everyone has insecurities and what we are saying is you should be okay with your insecurities just how you are and addressing the tweet the tweet said fat shaming and skinny shaming is not the same it's yeah, true it's, it's true. not the same so fanta and coke same. are not the same yeah. you guys come from coca-cola yeah, company yeah, exactly. they that do the are they the same no. no do they taste the same no. they don't and like yes everyone can have those struggles and all and it's it's really yeah, it's not a, a so yeah it's it's really it's not a competition it's, it's not a competition, it's not a competition. And, and everyone should love to put it like that, that. Yes. yeah everyone should love themselves 
exactly how they are but at the same time let's not forget and act like like um, one experience is the same yeah, 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 yeah. and then answer. also let, let's not forget that for the longest time from magazines to fashion to even hollywood tv, to, TV uh, no more things like no more things even clothes, even matatu ata ata matatu msem no no analipianga exactly TV. like twice if you're skinnier you're not paying half the price yeah no one is shaming you for that actually yeah. do you know it's so shaming different. is not just the yeah. comments that, oh my god it's also so 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 it's yeah. like so you can't get a job exactly. Exactly. You can, you might, there's some jobs that you can't do if you're beyond a yeah. certain size True. you know why 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 is it that if you're a fat person and you have a good voice maybe you have to stick on radio yeah. you can't come on tv Fuck. why exactly. you know why that's true you yeah. know that's so true the representation has always been it's and, always and, been there like, and for now, skinny people i feel like you guys have you've always, always been seen represented. yourself yeah you've always been represented and fat people haven't been represented enough and and now that representation is showing up let's not make it a competition like yeah. oh now you know even as skinny girls i'm not saying that i'm not invalidating We're your not, struggle no or your insecurity anyone. because at the end of the day we all have insecurities all have and we all have to love ourselves yeah. but at the same time let's, let's not look at it from the broader picture yeah. yeah 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 and also another thing is the the fact that we are talking about it doesn't mean you can't talk about it or yeah. you can't feel how you felt yeah. or that's exactly what they mean by we can't inv- we are not invalidating your struggle yeah. because we are speaking from our perspectives yeah. i have been a big girl my whole life i Me wouldn't know too. what a skinny girl went through yeah. yeah so when i speak i'll tell you my experience has definitely been this and this and this and i know it's different from you because you are not me yeah, yeah. You get it and you are not fat and i feel like so that's sorry. what people should at least understand to the point that you would uh, you wouldn't expect me to be so in tune with a partner and the conversation doesn't end have to end at me you can tell me what you went through but it doesn't have to be a race to prove whose struggle is exactly bigger. Yeah. i don't want you to feel like at now because i'm saying my story you you can't say yours you get yeah that's 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 the point i'm trying to bring home like the fact that us guys are talking about our story doesn't mean that your story is any less oh, important. important and yeah. i feel like it, that's why it was so good even for us as much as it started as a plus size group to we start. ended up with you know claire Val, claire and val are not exactly plus size people but yeah. they are here to tell their experience on womanhood yeah as they yeah. are with their struggle and yeah. all yeah, of us our struggles in size yeah, yeah. and yeah. all of us are learning to love yeah. ourselves yeah you know, is, even if you have the perfect body you there's something about you you'd feel that is not even appropriate okay. like you're not okay with it yeah and, and also some people would still feel something wrong about you yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter like even if you're big yes in the society there's always been a problem about mostly big people but then like you don't have to invalidate anyone's which we are not yeah. but then yeah. like you don't have to put it like it's a competition like even us but feel like this everyone is always feeling some type of yeah, yeah. about mm-hmm. something yeah. 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 literally everybody literally yeah. even everybody. men imagine even men have yeah. insecurities literally every single everyone has usingizi kama kawaida na kula vizuri na lala kwa wakati chochote na kacha na pewa sasa Yeah. It's not stress. Yeah. If there's something about them so that they're like wow yeah. and if someone mentions it they're like oh my god oh, I was yeah. off. Yeah. I felt a certain way about it yeah. and that's and and I actually I want to say let me quit clear. No but then like when yeah when we like when we started you remember when Claire was like you, like you guys were like classes like girls and when i came in i was coming from like the point of view that i'm a skinny person and i also have struggles mm-hmm. and then when like when she stayed with us for a while well, you know like she was like quite near yeah, like her struggles and yeah i was gonna say they're that, not like, the same i, I, I came in said, yeah. i came in with the same opinions like you know girls or oh, everybody skinny should girls be have presented yeah. and even us you know we go through shaming and and what not and after being with you guys for this many years i just like gradually understood, understood that they are so on, yeah. like everything is so different. different and for us to sit here and be like it's the same, it's the same, same. that it's would be so same. unfair because yeah. it's really not yeah. there are so many things that i can do regardless of the people who have shamed me for yeah. my size 
but there's so many things I can do. Like I can do literally anything. anything. Whereas a like as a like a bigger girl would be told, um, you're too big for this. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not it's it's not it's not rocket science. It's something that happens. It's there. And that's why we are here Conceit. to fight for for those things not to happen. Exactly. So when you sit there and you're like, ah, it's the same as in body shaming is just the same. It's not. It's the same. Fun, like fundamentally, the yes. is, it's the, the same. Yeah. Of the same. Is exactly, the same. but the it impact, but the but impact is different. People yeah. experience it. People experience yeah. it. The effects are different. Because now, different. for me, it came to it, I yeah. had to come um, to a realization that it was more of comments than systematic yeah. oppression. Yeah. So I had to re- detach myself from feeling like. You're oppressed. Not even that. For for feeling that we all need to my be, struggle is to be so represented, yeah. or like my struggle is the same. Yeah. Um, magnet like the same of the level. Same level. So yeah. I have to yeah. really. Something. Yeah. Just I a privilege of obviously like people don't like to look at to face their privilege or to acknowledge. Yeah. 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 That's but true. you should just acknowledge don't like to face it. Them. Because if yeah. it's if it's like the the thing that was on online on Twitter that some other time at the future said big girls can't enter the club. Like <laughs> Yeah, exactly. like someone will tell you serious. So, yeah, imagine someone will tell you, ah you don't have like a preference. Preference. Yeah, like people will tell you anything but even on a on the bigger scale, like you'll see things that are so Strange, like how yeah. can you not allow big women into our space? Into, yeah, into our space. And God why would what's like that what's that supposed to mean? mean? Exactly. So obviously that's a, a, it's an example that is, I mean, yeah, equal to but like yeah. it's, it's something that even day to day life, a bigger person yeah. will experience significant like yeah. different experiences from yeah. a smaller person. Yeah. Yeah. And I know, like, I, there are people who came to my DM and they were like, "How can you be part of a body positivity movement yeah. and you're invalidating yeah. skinny yeah. people's problems?" And again, no, I will not say, that. I am not invalidating skinny people's yeah. problems. And actually, let me tell you, body positivity was actually invented and it was introduced to like eradicate fat shaming. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. why body positivity yeah. was was started. Yeah. And if you know me from my Instagram from Kitambo, I've always like I've always advocated for fat girls. Always from my Twitter, that has always been my brand. Yeah. I'm simply yeah. talking about my experience. I'm talking about like people who look like me. I'm to- like I'm a voice for like people who look like me. Yeah. Basically, what I'm trying, what we are trying to say, as okay, we advo- we are empowering women of any size, yeah. but we're also trying to teach people women uh, more so women yeah. to learn and unlearn certain things yeah. about what they perceived body yeah. shaming or body positivity to be we're telling you that we we are the way we are we are in our bodies and we need to love them but we also so need to acknowledge what bodies we are in and what like the what, struggles, it, they what str- yeah. struggles they go with what privilege they go with yeah, yeah. Even at the same time, you know, a lot of women will tell you in the African society, yeah. men prefer bigger yeah. women. Da, 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 da. That's still valid, but at the same time, we are telling you that we should, that we we, are, we want to love ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Bottom, bottom line. Bottom, bottom line. line. Yeah. Everyone. Exactly. Bottom Skinny, line. curvy, fat, thin. Yeah. Tall, Imagine. short. Dark skin, light skin. Long, long hair, short hair. Yeah. Yeah. Bald. And the point of us sharing our opinions is so that we can have this conversation, not so that we can defend or defend our positions. It's so that we can share and we can all acknowledge what everyone is going through. Yeah. 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 So So for uh, basically these are conversations we have on our socials, personal accounts, on Twitter, on Instagram. Yeah. And when you're speaking on something, you don't be so, don't be rude. Like we can have a conversation. Not even. Don't, don't, like don't be I just feel like, I feel like. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's not a fight. Exactly. If you want yeah. to talk about something, you can talk about it. And I know someone can understand you from yeah. what you're saying, and you can come to an understanding. You yeah. don't have to be like, 
What the hell? The hell? This is so stupid. Why would you why? talk like that? What? As if what do you, you mean? Why would you tell me yeah. how to feel about my exactly. body? Like, whoa, it's not like that. Relax. Because actually, yeah. and do you know, like, not everyone knows what you know. Yeah. Not everyone knows what you know. We can come to an understanding. You can teach me, I can teach, teach you. you. We yeah. can understand each other at yeah. the end of the day. Yep. It doesn't have to be a fight. Yep. Yep. Yeah. We're going to have more conversations about this topic in particular. You can tell us in the comments what you feel about this conversation mm-hmm. and this yeah. topic yeah. and we love we hope that everybody is going to be body positive in 2020 and exactly. throughout 2020 and yeah. for life for life for Peace life. Bye. that's for life mama <laughs> <laughs>